next project is here. It has a broken motor. All right, guys, we have a very good friend's log splitter. He is also a subscriber to Redneck Manufacturing. Uh, yeah, as uh, Doodle Tiff said, we have our next project, and it has a broken motor, right? Yep. So what are we going to do? Fix it. Yeah? Yep. Are you going to help Pop Pop fix it? Yep. All right. So here we go. We're going to get started on fixing this motor. Here's what the problem is. Uh, it is locked up. Uh, the gentleman that this belongs to, he has already taken off the pull mechanism and turned the engine over. He said it will roll back a little bit and it'll go forward a little bit, but it is locked up. So first thing that comes to my mind is it either dropped a valve, broke a rod, or hopefully it's not the engine at all and not hopefully, but maybe it's the hydraulic pump itself that is locked up. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna discouple the hydraulic pump, then we're gonna undo this engine from the frame, throw it up on the workbench, and what are we gonna do to it? Uh, fix it. We're gonna fix it. Yeah. Redneck style, right? Yeah. Say it. Redneck style. All right, step one, we're gonna remove this hydraulic pump, and here we go. Time to take the motor off. Here we go. Step number two. We're going to undo the four bolts that hold the motor onto the. Oh, uh, this, Pop -Pop. What is that? It's like a, a nipple. Like a nipple? Yeah. Oh boy. It doesn't work. Let's take that off and fix it. You want to? Yeah. Here we go. All right, guys, we've got the four bolts out for the motor. Now it should just be a matter of picking it up, putting it on the workbench. All right, guys, I know that this is a dirty container, but uh, I think I just drained pure water out of the carb. Well, not even out of the carburetor. I think I just dumped pure water out of the gas tank. Uh, that might be part of the problem. We're going to pull the head off and see if we can get the piston to move.
Well, boys and girls, this is a good sign and a bad sign. Uh, the oil was also milky, full of water. Uh, there's no parts in here, though. Mm, everything looks good in here, but she is definitely stuck, so we're getting ready to pull the cap off and uh, pull the head off. God, holy shnikey, uh, I guess I don't have to explain that one, do I? Woo! There's a uh, Rusty Dusty and there's Rusty Busty. I don't know if you can hone this out, but we definitely found the problem, boys. What do you guys think of that? Is it fixable? I don't know. We'll find out. Redneck Manufacturing. So by Papa. That's finished. Turn the melon part. As you can see, it's a piece of crap. Take it this piece of crap. What's that crap like this for? Oh, is that true? All right, guys, so when you fill your gas tank full of water and you also fill your crankcase full of water, this could be the result. I'd like to copy you, Papa. Say, take a look at this piece of crap. Take a look at this piece of crap. Say it again. Say, take a look at this piece of crap. Take a look at a piece of the crap. Say it louder. Look at this piece of the crap. Look at this piece of crap. As you guys just seen. Yeah. You say it. If you guys seen Redneck. No. So say this. So my pop pop. Papa. Don't don't hop. Stand still. So my pop pop. Papa. No, say so my pop pop. Oh my pop. Say it loud. We just uncoupled the hydraulic pump. Okay. Go. We just had a uh, pumpkin chunk it.